guys, it is Sunday. It is our very last morning waking up in the beautiful, beautiful, very hot and very gorgeous Crete right now. We've just literally left our room, taken all our bags. They do a really, really cool service here, which we've just taken advantage of. You leave your bags outside your room between eight and nine in the morning. The hotel comes to collect them and takes them up to a check-in area that the airport staff come and set up in the hotel. You then go to the check-in area between like your allotted time, depending on what time your flight is. You check in here at the, air, at the hotel, so you get your boarding passes and then they take your bags etc to the airport and you don't see them again until Manchester I might have talked about this yesterday in yesterday's vlog apologies if I did I'm not sure but we've just taken advantage of that we've just got rid of our bags we've just checked in at the hotel we've got our boarding passes all ready to go and our flight is at 15:35 Greek time so 1:35 home time or something like that so we get back into Manchester at about 6 p.m. or something around that time anyway but that means that we've got like three hours from now until our transfer comes to pick us up to take us back to the airport. I can't believe that we arrived here already a week ago. We arrived here last Sunday and it's already gone. Like where does the week go? I can't quite believe it and I'm super, super sad this morning. You guys know after watching these videos for the last two years that I get super emotional when we have to say goodbye and leave places like this and this place is definitely no exception. It has been one of the best holidays I've had ever, period. It's been absolutely amazing and I've had so much fun and more than anything I've just made some incredible memories with my family which is, which is what it's all about at the end of the day and I'm gonna be sad to say goodbye to it. Really, really sad, but we're not gonna dwell on that. We're going to the pool right now. The girls have all done with breakfast. We've done breakfast before we dropped our bags, etc., and checked in. And now we're gonna go spend some nice time at the pool before we have to go catch our transfer back to the airport. So you guys, it's the last morning, the last time you get to jump into the pool before we go home. Three, two, one, go! Esme, you cheat! <laughs> Oh my god, it's really cold! It's raining! Oh my god, it's freezing! <laughs> oh my god! It's so cold! Why is it freezing actually? How much are you going to miss this pole? A lot! Yeah, me too. Guys, I have got new hair! Look! Oh! Isla's got brand new blue hair, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but all coming out of her hat here. And and blonde streaks in it too. Wow, that's a cool hairstyle, Isla. I think it's Amina. I think Amina are gonna have like two more goes in the sun. Two more goes in. Two more goes in the sun. Oh, it's about to go. About to go. Okay, guys. Basically, when that big um, no, no, no. When it was in the big bucket goes, it's pushing you down the side. It's so much fun. we need to we'll head up to reception and get our transfer back to the airport I have to say though this has been the most it's been such a good holiday and Isabel literally just said so sad that we're going home but thank you so much for bringing us here because it's been amazing and I'm so glad that we've managed to tick off another country from our travel list right it's been a really good holiday we've had a lot of fun. but another thing yay you got night you got <laughs> i was in desperate for a milkshake with cream a milkshake with cream but i don't think they hear it when she asks for cream because i always give her the milkshake without the cream <laughs> but whenever anybody else goes they get the cream anyway chris just went with her he's gone to get me a ice not latte. that they don't like isla no i just don't think she speaks loud enough uh, i was going to say something then oh yeah the holiday so this holiday has been so perfect because obviously the girls had like a week of school isabel had a bit longer where they've been able to just relax from the busy year that they've all had at school and then we came away on this holiday but this holiday has been really really relaxing you are but this holiday has not been like really like when we go to Florida for example we're constantly on the go whereas this has been so relaxing we've just been able to go back to the room if we wanted to relax and play around in the pool and it's just been a really nice relaxing holiday we've had great fun look at that for a nice latte yeah comment down below how many is looking at that moldy banana <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Esme, thoughts on this holiday? Um, out of ten. Yeah. One million thousand, five thousand million thousand. 
You enjoy Crete then? Yeah. Isla, final oh, thoughts on this holiday? Let's pick up more! A trillion. <laughs> Isabel, Amazing. final thoughts. Amazing. 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 You ready no, to go no, home though? No. Actually, I have a bit of zero. I'm joking, a trillion million. <laughs> So we are all feeling a bit sad to go home, but we were all just saying how much we're looking forward to going home and spending a lot of quality time over the next few days with our Queenie. I just said we have four days left. No. We have got something really special, another adventure. That's why we need to make the most of these next few days with our little Queenie. Spend lots and lots of time with her. Yeah, we were going to. We were going to get her tomorrow, but we said no, we're going straight for her as soon as we land, yeah. Let's go straight for her. I really want go pick her up. Really yeah, take her home. We have cuddles tonight with Prinny. We're going to drink up these drinks anyway, guys. Head to the airport. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So we just got up to reception. Oh, 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 oh. Right One now. second. We just got up to reception and walked over to the manager who was coming over to say goodbye. And literally I said, don't make us leave, um, like as a joke. And she said, don't worry, I'm not. And I was like, oh. And she said, we just got word that the flight to Manchester is actually four hours delayed. I wonder why. Now, I'm super glad and super grateful that the management here phoned the airport and made sure the flights were on time before we left for the airport. Because now we get to spend the four hours here with the all-inclusive facilities and not in the airport. Here. My, one of my friends said we just However, the yeah, however, we have all just got showers, put all our costumes and everything away. We don't have suitcases, we, we can't stay. get other ones out. And so I'm not really sure what we're going to do now for the next four hours. I could have been playing in the pool. But you could have been playing in the pool. We could have all been playing in the pool, but. And you didn't even get a chance to go in. I know. No. So, Dad and Chris have just gone to get us some drinks. We're just going to sit in the shade here for the next 10 minutes or so and work out a plan on what we're actually going to do. So, one really good thing about this delay that we've got now is that we get to come to the Tex Mex we restaurant. Get lunch. We get to have another gorgeous lunch in the Tex Mex we restaurant. Really which is we, we, we ate here like twice, did we? Yeah, for lunch. Yeah, and we wanted to come here again, but we never felt hungry enough to eat lunch. So, we kind of accepted that we wouldn't be coming back. And then we were just sat upstairs like, oh, the text mix is open for lunch, it's almost 3pm. No! Oh. It's open for half an hour, let's go get some lunch before we go to the airport. So we just ordered a big old Mexican feast. Whoa. We did debate on whether to put our costumes back on and go back out to the pool, but the girls were happy enough no one to wants just it, yeah. no, no one was too fussed, it's really hot out today. Yeah. As May said, my hair's all nice, I've just come shampooed and conditioned it, I don't want to have to wash it again. So we decided we'd just stay in the cool. The girls have been doing a bit of reading, they did a bit of colouring in one of Isla's colouring books. Yeah, we've been having some fun and inside, it's actually been, been really nice. I bet everyone watching this right now is like, you're in an all-inclusive resort abroad and you're not going back up to the pools. But yeah, yeah, it's been really nice. Who else? Comment down below though, on your last day of your holiday. Like, you never want to go home. I mean, some of you guys might get, like, where you do want to go home. Usually we don't ever want to leave, but the last day of the holiday, when you know you're going home, you just want to be get there. You want to get on with it. Hate waiting around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to see Brinny yeah, and I just yeah. like, hate waiting around to go home. It's right though. There is something about your last day where you kind of do feel like you end up just waiting for the transfer bus to come pick you up, even though you might be not leaving till the night time. Just and you try and make the most of the day and, yeah. and all the stuff, and, and you do have fun still, but in the back of your mind, you are constantly like you do feel like so it feels different than in the other day of your holiday, it always feels like you've checked out of your room, you've not got the comfort of your room anymore, and it does feel like you kind of wait to leave. I am super grateful though that with that four hour delay, yeah. which a lot of people moan about delays, I never ever moan about delays or complain. I know it's a bit of a nuisance, but I'd rather get home late on a safe plane than what I would do a plane that's you know, Maybe not so, safe, yeah. I don't mind delays at all. And I'm very glad that they caught the delay yeah, in time before we got to the airport because I wouldn't want to be sat at the airport for four hours on a delay. It's so much better the fact that we can just chill here and enjoy the hotel and everything else. And more importantly, Mexican food. My favourite. Okay, so this is, this is my four lined up chicken tacos, which are the best chicken tacos I've ever eaten, by the way, ever. Serious? Yeah, serious. We've got <laughs> Nice Seriously? spicy cheese sauce with nachos. <laughs> Chili with nachos. Sarah's gone for a quesadilla. So did the, the girls. Yeah. 
girls. said it's the girls. Everybody else went for the same. Pretty much chicken case of Diaz all around. I got to ask it without that. Yeah. But this is basically a beast. Mexican. It's so good. So tasty. And if you get, if you are ever around the Centauri, get to stay here, then you have to eat at the Tex-Mex. Because yeah, it so it's amazing. Say bye! <laughs> That's it guys, officially goodbye. We just got into our taxi, which is taking us to the airport. It's about 20 minutes, is it? Yeah, Something like long. that, about 20 minutes. And we should be there. Feeling a bit sad now. I am actually, I'm really feeling sad now. to the aeroplane oh my goodness look how pretty it is out here tonight oh I don't want to leave So we just landed in Manchester and these guys are just going to go and visit the flight deck and say hi to the pilots, right, before we go home. And all of the cabin crew have been really awesome. All the ladies gave us their hats. The girls have officially now two-week cabin crew, right? Yeah, You look really snazzy as well. I love this. Captain Esme right now in the left hand seat of a dreamliner can't believe it right Esme you want to take us back to Crete in fact no let's go somewhere further than that let's go to Florida yeah should we do that right so what do you think Isla you want to be a pilot yeah can you imagine what the view is like out there when it's up in the air must be amazing right what do you think Esme it's cool right I just, I want to run into the plane, so then come and pick you guys up. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Isla. You're the first officer now. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got back into the lovely Manchester. We've just picked up our car. Just loading up all the bags right now. 
Sarah's feeling super, super poorly and sick right now, unfortunately, from a little baby that she has in her tummy. She's not feeling too good at all because it's super late. When she gets overtired, like, she just feels really, really bad from it and it makes her feel super sick. So the girls are strapping in. The guys from Thompson were so lovely, from Tui, sorry, were so lovely on the flight just then. They let the girls go in the flight deck. They chatted with the pilots. They got some pictures in there and it was really, really super sweet because the girls are really, really interested and I love, I love seeing them spark with their imagination like that. Especially as May, she's like intent on the fact that she's going to be a pilot now. And she was really loving, loving the fact that she got to go sit in the flight deck and wear the captain's hat. And they all got like to wear the cabin crew's hat and stuff. It was really, really nice. Super lovely flight with Tui. Couldn't fault it. It was really good. It's currently about half past 11 now in Manchester. We're about to go get in the car, head home and get our bumps to bed. It's been a really, really long day, but super good. Even though we were delayed and most of the day has been spent like lapping up this delay. It's been, it's been a really lovely day. And it's really warm in Manchester, like who would have known it, it's super warm. As we got on the flight tonight, we did get a really lovely gift from one of the cabin crew's daughters. It was so, so sweet. We're going to open this on camera tomorrow, so come back and check that out then. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you love this video, make sure you give it a big, big thumbs up and get excited because the adventure does not stop here. Even though we're back in the UK, we've got a very exciting week coming up and then another adventure is about to start sooner than you might even think and it's going to be amazing thank you so much for watching guys thank you for all the love over the last week and everything if we didn't have your love and we didn't have all your positivity every single day that holiday would have been it would be nowhere near how epic it actually was if i'm making sense i'm really tired right now i hope i am i'll catch you all tomorrow at 5 p.m good night guys